Our good friends at Renegade Kid are back. They released Mutant Muds, one of our favorite mm -hmm. DS games. Mm -hmm. They've got another one. This is called Zeo Drifter. That's the proper way to say it. Yeah, and this is uh, borrowing some of the elements that we saw in Mutant Muds. There That's are right. some exact mechanics, like jumping into the background and stuff. It's another 2D scroller, but this is uh, a much more well thought out experience, very much in the Metroid vein or the Castlevania kind of vein. Where it's you're... as if Mutant Muds and Metroid made a baby. Yes, and that's a that's a beautiful baby to play. Quite yeah, frankly, I think is. they did a very solid job with the design here. I think this is uh, Renegade Kid's strongest game that they've released so far. It has far. a lot of personality, and yeah. that's what I was looking for because Mutant Muds was great, as challenging as and as interesting as it was. I felt like it was missing a defining personality. Yeah, and and you, know, you just couldn't get into the characters or the the enemy types in the same way. And I think this is a game that kind of tugs on our nostalgic heartstrings. Mm -hmm. We miss and love the 2D Metroid experiences. It's really kind of a wonder why Nintendo is just completely let off the gas on bringing us those incredible types well, of maybe games. Maybe they're doing something right I now. I hope so. the benefit of the doubt. And, you know, with this and with Axiom Verge on the way as well, which is another Metroid game headed our way, which is another 2D scroller like this, I think this is going to send some really strong signals to Nintendo to bring us more of this type of gameplay. And that's really incredible praise that you can give back to this game is that this sort of services that absence. It gives you a sense like, okay, this is fantastic. I know the vibe. The one thing that this game doesn't bring, though, is that risk-reward type of thing that you get out of Metroid when you're blasting at enemies who may be tough to get. At least you get rewarded with some missile pickups or some uh, some health yeah, power-ups. That's right. You don't get that in this game. What you basically I, just get to progress. One of my favorite things about the game is the way that in Mutant Muds you could jump into the background and jump back into the foreground yeah. and I loved that for some reason that was transportive for me yeah. I would jump into the background and I'd start platforming back there and so I was transported and you know me I'm down on games a little bit these yeah. days this is the first intriguing really intriguing thing that I've encountered in 2015 yeah and it does feel like uh, Renegade Kid is the 3DS's best friend you know they're finding a way to make cost effective incredibly fun entertaining experiences they're making 3D relevant they're making 3D look really cool and the pixel precision is again a marvel just like it was in mutant muds they've really right. you don't blame the game when you screw up you blame your own skills i think this is a terrific game it's a little short it's only uh, 10 bucks so it four to six hours for me four for you six yeah <laughs> it feels smaller in scope and scale and in price tag than what you'd pay for a metroid 2d experience today but it it feels almost you know, almost as competent, almost as solid as something that you'd see out of Nintendo, which is really high praise, and I think Renegade Kid has killed it. Yeah, I think Renegade Kid did a great job. Gets a 9 out of 10 for Nine me. 9 for me as well.